Thanks to Oppo for sponsoring this video. There are a ton of things that Android does really well. Software customization, options for size and variety of form factors. But one area where Android has really fallen short is updates. And that's been a big problem, really until now. So I've talked about it for years in videos, but I'm a fan of stock Android. Android in its pure Google intended form. But what I'm starting to see a new trend of, when I think I'm starting to enjoy, is manufacturers that are taking the best of stock Android and adding necessary and welcome changes on top of it, not just adding features for future sake. When it comes to software updates, there are really three key things that I look for. So new features, performance, and security. Those are sort of the three pillars of any software update. And the latest from Oppo, ColorOS 11, is doing an awesome job of hitting all of those. Much like most Android updates, and really any OS update that we see, there's always areas that can be improved, things that can be added, even more customization that can be done to it. So Oppo's got a very different approach with ColorOS 11. They're actually integrating a lot of what makes Android 11 good inside of the operating system while adding some features that I think are really helpful. So the big one is customization. I think that's why a lot of people go to Android. You can make your phone however you want. Android itself offers a ton of customization, obviously, right? With launchers and icon packs uh, and a ton more, but built in to ColorOS 11, they've gotten insanely granular with the customization. So obviously icons, but things like icon style, material design are there. You can customize ringtones, customize vibrations, customize fonts, pretty much anything you can see can be tweaked and customized. It's crazy apparent, even down to like the always on display. You can create anything you want and you can make even like a really intricate pattern just by dragging your finger. And you can use this totally alongside all the info, like time notifications, just giving kind of another level of personalization. Pretty much every phone now is shipping with multiple cameras and crazy video and picture modes, HDR, wide angle, telephoto, and sometimes macro and even more. And that's awesome. And a lot of people rely on third party camera apps. Uh, but sometimes manufacturers don't give you access to all the features of their camera systems from third party cameras. Uh, and you gotta switch back and forth depending on what type of picture you wanna take. Uh, and that's straight up annoying. Here with ColorOS 11, they've realized that. Now, while their default camera app is really good and you may opt to use it, if you want to do a third party camera app, Oppo is giving those developers options to access the entire feature set uh, of the camera array. So things like HDR, if your phone supports it, and all the other sensors that might be built into your device. So you can get that sort of native-esque experience in a camera app that might suit you better. But there's a, a feature that's built into ColorOS 11 that's been important to me on a personal level. I've been very open about talking about my sleep issues and how I struggle regularly with insomnia. And when I go to bed, I have two noisemakers that are on to provide white noise. Uh, in ColorOS 11, there's an app that's built in called Relax. It's actually Relax 2.0. Uh, and this has been surprisingly helpful for somebody like me who suffers from sleep issues. So I have a ton of different white noise settings that are built into the phone. You have a bunch of options in there. A new one is called Sounds of Cities. If you like that sort of hustle and bustle noise to relax, now you have that choice. Uh, but also there's relaxation modes that sort of get you ready to go to bed. But built in to the OS is something that I found really helpful and comforting uh, in the phone. So all those features are awesome and nice, and you're getting them in addition to the features that Google has built into Android 11. So I think the highlights would be people bubbles for messaging, uh, device control, so you can control smart things in your house, as well as sort of really robust security controls. You get things like three finger translate, where you could use Google Lens, take a screenshot of text in a foreign language, and it'll do that translation for you. It's a small thing that you may never use, but when you want it and it's built into your OS, it's really nice to have. So new features are all fine and good, but there is like a little bit of a stigma when it comes to updates that deliver these new features 
but sometimes they deliver bugs with them. Fortunately, that does not appear to be the case with ColorOS 11. Oppo has been really focused on kind of what they're calling a smooth experience. And with devices regularly having a 120 hertz display, that smooth experience uh, needs to be perfect because any stutters or imperfections in the software will absolutely be visible. So with that higher frame rate, ColorOS 11 is using what Oppo is calling UI First 2.0, combined with lag reducing engine with quantum animation. They're doing everything they can to make sure your phone looks and performs fast and smooth. Because there's really nothing worse than dropping a ton of dough for a really nice screen and then realizing a really nice screen is laggy and stuttery and not delivering the experience that you paid for. And behind the scenes, the phone can learn what apps you're using and when, and keep those apps ready so that they will launch 23% faster. There's also a gamer mode, which you're seeing a lot of manufacturers start to put on their devices. Essentially, it's going to sort of limit the notifications you're getting, limit gestures, so you can be like tunnel vision focused on you know, whatever game you're playing. So really what it boils down to is there's a lot of optimizations inside of ColorOS 11 that's on top of what Android 11 is already doing. So you're getting sort of extra speed, extra performance, an operating system that's sort of geared towards you and learning what you're doing and giving that speed. The beauty of Android is that you have choice. You can pick your manufacturer, you can pick which flavor of Android you want, which skin, UI tweaks, launcher is going to best suit your needs. And what Oppo is doing is trying to give you the best of all of Android, the best of what Google is offering out of the box with features and customizations on top of it to give you a better experience. Things that are going to learn your habits and launch apps quicker. Things that are gonna save your battery. Things that are gonna make your gaming experience better. It's a long list of things. And all of those things combined make an operating system that feels complete. And that completeness and ease of use are tweaks and features and ultimately an operating system that I can get behind.